In a world where we often seek refuge in the hustle and bustle of shopping malls, the Michelle Martinko case serves as a chilling reminder that danger can lurk in even the most ordinary places. Today we delve into the chilling tale of the murder at the mall, a case that remained unsolved for nearly four decades. On a cold December night in 1980, 17-year-old Michelle Martinko drove her family's Buick to the Westdale Mall in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. A popular high school senior, Michelle had just attended a choir banquet and decided to make a stop at the mall to check out a new winter coat. Little did she know, this simple detour would end in a tragedy that would shock the community and puzzle investigators for years to come. Michelle never made it home that night. Her parents, growing increasingly worried, reported her missing. In the early hours of the following morning, police discovered the Buick in the mall parking lot. Inside, they found Michelle. She had been stabbed multiple times. There was no sign of robbery or sexual assault leading investigators to believe that this was a personal attack, a crime of passion. Yet there were no immediate suspects. The police launched a massive investigation, interviewing hundreds of people. They even enlisted the help of famed criminal profiler Robert Ressler. But despite their best efforts, the case went cold. Michelle Martinko's murder became one of Iowa's most infamous unsolved mysteries. Fast forward to 2016. A new team of investigators decided to revisit the Martinko case. They turned to a resource that wasn't available back in 1980, DNA technology. The killer had left blood at the crime scene, and this blood was now their best lead. They sent the sample for genetic genealogy testing, a method that had solved several cold cases across the country. In 2018, almost 40 years after Michelle's murder, police arrested a man named Jerry Burns. His DNA matched the sample from the crime scene. Burns, a businessman from Manchester, Iowa, had no criminal record and no apparent connection to Michelle. Yet the DNA evidence was irrefutable. The trial began in early 2020. The defense argued that Burns' DNA could have ended up at the crime scene by chance, but the prosecution presented a compelling case. After deliberating for just three hours, the jury found Jerry Burns guilty of first-degree murder. The Michelle Martinko case serves as a testament to the relentless pursuit of justice. It reminds us that no case is ever truly cold, that with time, patience, and the advancements in technology, even the most perplexing mysteries can be solved. And while it took nearly four decades, Michelle Martinko finally received the justice she deserved. A chilling tale, indeed, but a reminder that in the face of darkness, the pursuit of truth never ceases.